Now, why is she over here trying to control what's on the radio in somebody else's car? Do you go to other people's house and tell them what to cook that night for dinner? Do you go to other people's house and start changing the thermostat on the air conditioner? Do you go to other people's house and start rearranging the goddamn furniture? Hell no. Nah. When you walk in somebody else's house, sit down, shut your ass up and try to figure out what time it is around there. That's one of the things that annoys the shit out of me. I'm thinking the three females in particular. One of them is a Moroccan bra, super ghetto bra from Texas. Hella thick, but super ghetto, belligerent, low-class bra. Going to have the nerve to get in my whip. We drive, and she's like, oh, you heard that new Young Dolph? Now, you could tell this was a little while ago when he was alive. And my first thought was like, bro, why are you even listening to Young Dolph? Are you a trapper? Are you a trap star? Are you, or, or are you just a dickaholic of trap stars? Like, why are you listening to gangster music anyways? And why do you have the audacity to be bringing that up to me? Like, I'm going to be impressed with you little broad why are you listening to the music that's designed for men masculine music that talks about violence and death it's not a surprise that the gentleman suffered violence and experienced death i'm not saying it's a good thing but i'm saying hey people say speak it into existence don't they if you're rapping and singing about it sooner or later it might show up for all of us so be careful of the thoughts you think and the words you speak but the key is this this Thick Moroccan dumb dingbat broad had the nerve to get in my whip trying to tell me what to play. Ludicrous. But me, I keep it player because I'm just there to go ahead and smash and dash. You heard me? So I give her three minutes to shine, give her 15 minutes of fame, beat down that frame, and then kick her out the game. And that's what you got to do because it's a clear indication that she's a dumb broad. So offensive because when a female is meant to cater to a man, she should get in your car and try to make you more comfortable. She should be in your car and when she get up out of it, she should take that empty water bottle with her and throw it in the garbage. She should get in your car and then she should be like looking around like, how can I beautify this space? That's what a woman's about. How can I beautify the space? How can I add peace? Not how can I add, add annoyance? How can I make demands? How can I make things uncomfortable? How can I get my way? How can I nag? Nah, that's not what we're looking for. So that was that one dumb Moroccan broad. Then I had this super thick, this, this one was thicker than the Moroccan one, white blonde girl, super, very liberal, very liberal, but so thick. Oh, Lord, she was thick. And she used to have that wet, wet, you heard me, and she was with it, however you like it. But anyways, very liberal. So we in the car, we're driving, and we're in my car this time. And here we go again. Oh, have you heard such and such song? Now, this is the worst thing about females. It's also, it's actually quite annoying. This is something you have to train them out of as a good father, because it's in the nature to insinuate and to suggest rather than just to say straight up. For the female is not a bold creature by nature. If they become more masculine, then they tend to be more bold and direct. These ones are generally whores. But the female nature is to insinuate and suggest and manipulate. So this ultra thick, oh, she was thick, white chick who actually plays video games. It was very weird. This is the first gamer girl I ever dealt with. She's young. So anyways, we ride and she's like, oh, have you heard the such and such song? I was like, oh, no, no, I haven't. Keep driving. She's like, oh, okay, you know, like, you know, who's your favorite band? I was like, this and this. She's like, oh, okay, yeah, mine is blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. And then we're carrying on. And she's doing all of these things so that I'll say, oh, let me hear their song. Or, oh, like, what, let, oh, do you have that song on Spotify? And so eventually she's like, oh, can I plug in? Like, I'll let you hear the song. And in my head, I'm like, no, no, you can't plug in. No, I don't want to hear that song. If I wanted to hear it, I would have asked you. But I didn't get in here in my own whip and say, hey, little white girl, I'd like you to pretend as though you're DJ Khaled and start spinning records and mixing in my car as though this is the club and it's your club and I just walked in here. And you're doing me a favor by playing your latest hits. Now I ain't asked you all that shit. I just prefer you to sit down and shut the fuck up and then take this dick in 20 minutes and then don't ask me for a round two and then shut the fuck up and go home voluntarily. That would make this a great night, but we know none of that's going to happen. So let's go ahead and play this game so I can smash them draws. But after that, Lord knows you ain't getting no calls. I promise you, because I'm already annoyed. And here's the thing, ladies, if you're paying attention, know this, a man likes simplicity. Simplicity means ease. Simplicity means shut the fuck up. Simplicity means go with the flow. Figure out what the flow is. Go with it. You did. In Puerto Rico, we used to say, tranquilo, dejate llevar. Bitch, follow the program. 